Hey fans, happy Fantabulous Friday. It is Friday y'all and I am getting ready to make some breakfast. I think this is, this is Vlogtober, day 11 and I am getting ready to make some breakfast. So I'm going to put you guys here Hoping that y'all can see me. Can y'all see me? Y'all can see me? I think y'all can see me. Um, I'm getting ready to do some, make some breakfast right quick. And then I am getting ready to film a cleaning video. I am attacking my bathrooms today. So that's going to be a separate vlog. That's going to be vlog October 12. Um, I am attacking my bathrooms today. I am cleaning them today. Uh, and I want to attack my kids' bedrooms because they are atrocious. So if I can get to those, I will get to those in the video as well. Um, but it is a much needed cleaning. So that is going to be a separate video um and today is just a vlog style video <clears throat> and yeah i am having a great morning the kids are off to school um nyla is here so yesterday um mike and i and nyla went to her school which she's going to be going to the same school as mikey Beezy. um and we went to her school after three weeks <laughs> of trying to figure out, you know, getting a schedule together and um, meeting with them. I was supposed to meet with them last week, but I couldn't meet with them last week because I got a call as soon as I dropped um, Kayla Beasy off to school. I got a call like five minutes later saying that she threw up. So I had to go get her from school. So I had to cancel that appointment and normally <clears throat> If I can't make it to an appointment, I like to cancel at least 24 hours in advance. I had no choice but to cancel two hours before the meeting. And I felt so bad because it's an IEP meeting. And if, if you guys know what that is, you know what that entails. If you don't, an IEP meeting is basically a meeting that parents and directors of the <clears throat> excuse me, special education department and teachers and anybody that's working with your special needs child um, they go to these meetings and we discuss <clears throat> I'm sorry y'all I have a little cold we discuss um, what that child's needs are and what they need and what they don't need and how to best accommodate them throughout the school year so um, that's what we had to do was the IEP meeting yesterday and um, it was about two and a half hours, I believe. I'm um, just trying to figure out like what class will best fit Nyla's needs and um, what teacher will best fit her needs and things like that. And so we did find a classroom for her and it's amazing and the people are a delight. They are incredible. I absolutely love them. They're so warm and just Oh, I just, the way they work with the kids and just, you know, just the warmth and the compassion that it's, it just was so very different um, from what we're used to. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm just, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And I'm so glad that she's here in this school. And so I think she's starting the Monday or Tuesday next week. Single 
keep all that paperwork in just one solid area um, because everything like to pay the bills and to do all those things like everything is in the drawers in the kitchen or in the living room or in my bedroom or it's just it's not functional for me and I'm a very organized person it doesn't seem like it but I am I like my space organized and neat and clean and tidy and clutter free so this is going to be my new office um i have it set up now and and honestly that's why we haven't gotten like a mattress yet because we were still kind of like thinking should we keep it as a guest room or should we keep it as an office space and as you can see i was gonna do you know get the bed the mattress and do like a full reveal and stuff like that but this is where all of our equipment is our lighting is in here our tripod is in here um sometimes i come in here and i film and you know, I have like a whole chalkboard. I actually um, refurbished that. If you guys remember, that was like the gold framed chalkboard in the mirror in the middle. So I just spray painted it um, glossy black and then put the chalkboard paint in on t over the mirror and use it as a chalkboard. And so that's going to stay. And I actually built this as well. I did a video on this, you guys, and the video just was not uploading. I don't know what in the world was happening, but it just was not uploading. So I filmed it. I showed you guys how I was making it and everything, and it just was not working out. So this is, I built this a few weeks ago, and so this is where it's been. Um, and I just, I painted it white. I painted it white and then I stained the top with a walnut stain and it just it turned out so beautiful I wish that the video would have worked out right but it's okay but anyway so this is this is going to be my new office these are the drawers for my um, buffet if you guys remember my buffet that I had in my old dining room in the previous home so it's still at the other house and we're actually going to be picking that up and bringing it over but we just took all the drawers out and brought the drawers over so that's the drawers for my buffet and that's going to go somewhere um, <laughs> and then we have the television up because I'm telling you guys everything was set for the guests for when they come um, I have to get like a little vanity I don't know if I'm going to buy a vanity or if I'm going to make one I'm still kind of it's kind of up in the air but I had everything like ready and planned. So right now this whole space I'm going to redo it because it's kind of feeling a little cluttered to me. So I'm going to redo this whole space. The television is going to stay. Um, the headboard is going to go in the attic because that's where the guest room is now going to be. Um, and this I don't know what we're going to do with this because I'm not about to uh, carry this all the way three flights of steps and I'm pretty sure my husband is not going to want to either <laughs> so I don't know if we're going to keep this in the garage or donate it or give it away for free I don't know it's a perfectly perfectly good bed frame it's a full-size bed frame but I don't know yet but for now it is definitely going to go into the garage but this is going to be my new office space before y'all know it was like the eating kitchen area and it was great for that now we have a dining room so we use that every single day um and this is now going to be my office space which i am super duper excited about i am so excited about it because it looks over into the backyard with this big old window um the awnings we can actually um you know roll it up and you see like out in the the lawn and it's such a beautiful beautiful sight to see and I can just picture in the winter time with the awnings rolled up and the snow on the ground and the trees turn into popsicles oh I just love it so um, I'm going to definitely get ready to start decluttering this room and it's a catch-all it's a catch-all for everything <laughs> it's a catch-all for everything I have things in here that I'm going to be selling on the website and it's just it's a catch-all place for everything so yeah so I just wanted to show you guys the new uh, office space I'm gonna take you guys through when I'm decluttering it it's not going to be today but I'm going to be decluttering it uh, probably this weekend 
and then um, I'm going to show you guys how I am going to put it all together and I'm actually going to give you guys some Pinterest inspiration as to um, how I'm going to set up this office is definitely going to have a farmhouse flair because y'all know I love farmhouse style so it's definitely gonna have a farmhouse flair and it's also going to be very urban farmhouse to keep with the rest of my house but I'm going to add a little bit of French country touches to it so that's going to be cool and I'm very excited about it I do want to put like a French door here in this opening I still want to do that and I'm still going to do that um, but yeah so just wanted to show you guys what my new office space is going to be and I'm so excited about it because I feel like I'm productive in the living room at my desk but I feel like I can be uber productive in this space I just want it to be my think tank and just have my vision wall up and just it be inspired every single day to create and to just to, to work you know so I'm very excited about that and working from home I need a space that is going to help me to be inspired right so just wanted to show you guys what that is going to look like Starting dinner. Oh my goodness. The girl is cooking. She's making the sausages. So she's making, what are you making? What kind of pizza? I'm making cheese pizza and sausage pizza. Ooh, chat. That is why I'm currently cooking the sausages right now. And what kind of sausages are these? These are turkey, Alaska, Kalbaska. <laughs> Kobasa. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Because when she makes it in, it's going to have a really strong taste. That girl is cooking dinner, y'all. <laughs> On a Friday night. Friday night. Mommy's days are Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 
My days are Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> now, what's that? Are you th what's that you're throwing in there? Paprika okay. gives it a really, really good taste, and it's very healthy, and it's not spicy. <laughs> so it's a really good. You can add as much as you want, as much as your heart's content. As much as your heart's content. <laughs> Here, guys. So she is making dinner, and I am making my blanket batter. So I started making it outside, um, and I do have a separate video that's coming, and it looks so good, you guys. I I made up my mind, and I actually stained it with chalk paint. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, but I did. Um, what I did was I took a wet paper towel, and I just... Um, I dipped it, to the, dipped it into the chalk paint, and then I just kind of just rubbed it all over the wood and stained it. And it kind of looks like burnt wood, like, you know, when you torch a wood and you see, like, the soot on the wood. That's what it looks like, and guys, it just looks so beautiful. I can't wait to show y'all. Oh, my gosh. So that video is going to go up on Tuesday. Um for DIY Tuesdays and it just it looks so good y'all I, I can't wait for y'all to see the video and then for you guys to see what it looks like so I'm actually going to do a video on how I style my blanket ladder and yeah I can't wait for y'all to see it so it's turning out pretty good it's turning out pretty good so I'm gonna walk out backwards so that y'all don't see the blanket ladder <laughs> Um, but I had this chair there, so this chair and the other chair, I'm actually going to be doing a project on those. I'm going to be chalk painting those chairs, and, um, I'm going to, I was thinking of reupholstering the fabric, but I think what I'm going to do is just chalk paint the, the fabric and the chair itself, um, and then those two are going to go up in my bedroom or I may put them in my office so we'll see we'll see but it's all coming together yeah guys so I I didn't really get done what I was supposed to get done today let me show y'all what we did today daddy BZ was home for a little bit and we um we was downstairs working Downstairs working, yeah. Huh? Open it. This is a pizza, guys. <laughs> oh. Mommy is amazing. She took us to the store yesterday to get the pizza stuff so that I could do my thing in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm so excited to cook. I'm so excited. So let me show y'all what we did today. Um, we're downstairs in Daddy Beasy's um, office, and this is what we've been doing all day. We've been putting down some carpet tiles, and it just looks so good. So this is what the floor used to look like, and this is what it's looking like now. And I just got to do the corners um, over in that area, over here and all the way to where the brick wall begins right there so that whole section right here is going to be carpet tiles and it's it's looking so good and it feels so good y'all oh my goodness it feels so good and i love the color me personally i would have painted like this whole thing white including the blue but this is Daddy Beezy's uh, space, and he's inspired, and he's good, so that's all that matters. But it's looking so good, you guys. This is what we did. Yeah, so let me, while I'm down here, let me just take, check out this dryer and see. Oh, I think that this pillow is dried. Is it? 
Maybe just one more spin. One more spin. Do y'all do that? Sometimes when your stuff is in the washer or the dryer, you just give it that one more extra spin to make sure that it's completely dry. Yeah, so it's looking good. It's looking really good. And I'm excited about my office. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Mommy. Oh my gourd. Uh -huh. I'm your help today. You get a little bit of sauce. You see that one coming, trying to come off? He's trying to escape. He's trying to escape. Now you can't have them escape. You can't. I am a professional. I own Pizza Hut and Domino's and Little Caesars. So, I'm professional. This is how we do. gonna be pooping up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> so I made individual pieces for her so that because like it's not fair that everyone else gets cheese and she eats the cheese and then she's like Bleh. Yeah. So I just made her individual <laughs> I made her individual sausage pizza. Nice. You like it Nyla? <laughs> she's like I, like it. I love it. Okay. Well, let's get it in the oven, shall we? We shall. Hold on. looks like. Ooh. These are Nyla's pizzas and she's already started eating it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And then we have the all cheese pizza that's in there now. This is what the pizza is looking like and I am so excited to dig in. Caleb Easy's making a salad right now. I <laughs> And then we're going to grub on. I'm going to tell you this pizza is not going to last till tomorrow. It's all going to be done. It's, it's all going to be done right now. Two seconds. <laughs> right, Nala? Two seconds. Pizza done? Yeah. 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 Okay, guys. So this is dinner. I think this is a great dinner for Friday night. Is that all right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Is that all right? Okay, so we're getting ready to grub, y'all, because the sister is hungry. All right, here we go. <coughs> hey, fams. So it is the end of the night. It's about 7, <coughs> yep, 6.52, and we ate that wonderful dinner that Michaela made. It was so delicious, you guys. So now we are just here. I'm in my nightgown, my PJs, <coughs> and Mikey's laying there with his Bible on his face. Kayla Beasy's over there with her Bible. And Nyla's in the hallway. And um, we're about to do our uh, Bible study, our family Bible study. And then we're going to have our family movie night. 
we are missing one person out of the family, Daddy BZ, um, and we totally miss him so much. So when he when he gets home, we're definitely going to be doing this again. Um, but um, just wanted to close out this vlog and tell you guys good night. We are going to watch a movie after this and probably fall asleep. So. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We love you, love you, love you. I hope that you guys are enjoying these vlogs for Vlogtober. And, um, yeah, we love you guys so much. So, uh, have a good night. Enjoy the ones that you're with. Love the ones that you're with. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. The reason I don't post anymore is because.